Alrighty. Now, this is the Back with the Boys bringing you another video. Um, I'm going to show you how to finish off your squirrel after you have tanned them. Because usually you'll still have some rough furs and a little bit of uh, dry skin stuff you want to get off there so you got that good, nice, leathery feeling. Alright, first off, I recommend you have a good sharp pair of scissors. They don't need to be anything good. Just, just make sure they're kind of sharp because it's not that easy to cut through this. Um, some type of uh, knife. You want it to be pretty sharp too as well. This will be used for scraping. I'll show you later on in the video. And then just something, you know, simple little pocket knife. And um, you might need a um, knife sharpener, but I've already sharpened the knife. But um, this process can take a while. It just depends how well you have worked your how well you've worked your hide. Um, first off, I would say you would probably want to put this on top of something hard. In this case, I'm just using a magazine, but um, the skin and stuff will it'll begin to collect up. But um, first off, you want to look at the top of your skin, and you'll see uh, certain spots where, like, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there is a more skin right here, and there's not many much hair, and places like this, places like this, and there's some kind of just, just skin, basically. And what you're going to do is, you want to take your scissors, you don't really want to cut the skin, but you do. So it's kind of it's not a confusing process, but you just wanna you wanna come you wanna come around the edge to come as close to the hair as you can, but you don't wanna make it look too much out of whack because you can get the clipping too much and it it'll just it just won't work right it it won't it'll look pretty pretty stupid, but um yeah I'm just gonna go around the edges, trim off a couple of my skin skin spots that are just kind of dry and um yeah so this process shouldn't take but you know maybe a a brief minute or two but you shouldn't have that bad but um really what you're just trying to do is just get it good looking I mean if it doesn't really matter to you that's fine but I preferably like my skins look decent but um alright so I got this piece trimmed off where the skin is and I got a few little rough pieces here, but not too worried about those. But I got most of the big pieces trimmed off. Um, I'll get this one later. But uh, you want to start by looking over here. And most of your skins will have a real... You want to have that leathery texture for skinning people. You, you know what I'm talking about. But um, when you tan it, you can either use like salt or tanning fluid. Me, preferably, just for a squirrel, I use salt. But um, make sure it's unidized cuz iodized salt will not work unless I I don't I don't believe it will work anyway. But um yeah. What you want to do is you want to start off with your small knife. Now, you don't this is not a very hard process or anything. What you want to do is cuz the hair is right up under this layer. So you do not want to cut too deep. But what you want to do is you you want to work at this. And I mean it, it's a it's a working process. Yes, it, it doesn't re really require much patience. You just need to, you just need to start at the corners, and you wanna, you wanna work your way around the whole thing. Now, me, I've already done most of this skin, so just for the time of the video, so it's not forever long. But I'm just trying to give you all the whole idea here. What you wanna do is you wanna just kind of come around the skin, get all these little skin pieces off. And go all the way down your tail. And um, just keep going out towards the edges. Don't go too deep though, because then you'll have holes in there. I've done lots of skins and they've looked great, and then you just get that one hole and it just kind of ruins it for you. But um, yeah, just keep working around the edges. Remember, just you don't gotta push too hard. Just scraping around them. Now you can see it's just coming off, you know. That's why you want to kind of put it on a cleaner surface just so you can be able to wipe it off. I mean, this you might want to do this outside preferably, but um 
I'm not going to do this outside because it's raining outside right now. And I really wanted to get this done today. But you want to just keep going until until he'll get that feeling. And I mean, there's lots of skin on here, but me, I don't want to get I don't like to get too close to the to the hair, so I'm just going to kind of leave it at this. And we're just going to kind of just kind of scrape it at the end. Make sure you got all your edits done. I'm going to kind of speed this up because I don't really want to take too much time up. And what you want to do with your bigger knife is like you you, you want to do the same idea but when you have a bigger blade you can cover a lot more surface area but what I found works best is if you start at around the neck or the leg area you want to start about right here and you want to make like big big um big cut not cuts but just big swipes across this and maybe take about 10 or 15 of them you just want to hold your knife just like this and you want to rub it you want to rub it across there just rub it like this and basically you're just scratching it almost like a windshield wiper motion and you just want to keep doing it about 10 or 15 times me I'm only going to do it maybe four times because of this video length I've been telling you all. but um I think you get it but then you want to come you want to start here up here at the front, uh, about the top of the neck or the front leg, and you want to work your way all the way down to the, around the back leg. So it's a big motion through the whole skin. And then you want to keep doing it on the other side. And most people on the squirrel skins, they keep the tail. Some people don't. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. Just um, if you got the tail, same process. Just skin them a little bit. You don't really, you don't really, skin doesn't have much skin in there or any type of, uh, texture but um yeah keep working at it and um leave a comment if you want any more tips or anything um soon i'll be making a video on how to prep squirrels for cooking how to clean them um be posting some deer videos trapping videos soon so um stay tuned and thank you guys